Great sound, great bling. Let's check these out. Dave Taylor here and I'm checking out these. These are the BASN B-Master second generation in-ear monitors and as you can see they bring the bling. They are fairly big and they fit in your ear so they are actually reasonably comfortable but they're definitely bigger than tiny earbuds but what you get is you get much better sound. They are only wired 3.5 millimeter jack so you can plug it into a phone, computer, stereo system, whatever it is you want, lots of options which is great and the sound really nice. Now let me give you some specs. These feature, I mean actually I guess have both of them here so you can see both. These feature 10 millimeter dynamic drivers with triple balanced armatures giving you 20 to 40,000 hertz frequency response with 22 ohm impedance. So they can plug into a lot of devices that don't push out a lot of energy and don't push out really loud music and still sound really good with that low impedance. 108 decibels of sensitivity. They are a big, very precise sound, quad drivers, hi-fi audio, noise isolating by the simple fact that they're big and they go in your ears. And what's cool is that the wire can detach from the actual in-ear monitor because they're using what are known as MMCX detachable cables. So in fact, they come with two different cables. So the one that I have hooked up right now includes a microphone and inline controller, which is why if you look on the, the 3.5 millimeter, it has three rings. So that tells you that there's audio out and in, but in the box is a ton of stuff. And one of the things they include in the box is a different braided wire. And this one is also 3.5 millimeter and it has those um, MMCX ends, but this one doesn't have a microphone. So this is better if you're only ever gonna listen to music, then this is probably a better choice. But I like the flexibility of being able to choose. While I have the box open, let's go see what else is in here. So, comes with a very succinct owner's manual. Comes with a carrying case that is sort of an interesting hybrid. It's um, a simple, fairly budget-minded case, but it's enough that you can carry your gear in safety. And then it has a 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch adapter jack if you want to plug this into some old school stereo hi-fi system or something, or a guitar amp or something. You just put your 3.5 millimeter into this and once it's all connected, there you go, then you can plug it into that and it'll work just fine. Also comes with something you don't see very often, a little tiny cleaning brush so that if you're getting some earwax or gunk in your ear tips, it gives you that option. And it comes with a lot of ear tips. There are three sets of memory foam earbuds and six sets of silicone ear tips. So between all of those, lots of choices and it really matters. I will tell you, when I first got them hooked up, I was just using the default ear tips and was really pretty disappointed by the base. But then I put the larger ear tips in and adjusted the angle I was having them on my ear and the sound was significantly better. Now, you do have to pair the ear in-ear monitor with the right wire so that you get the proper stereo signal. So blue ends up being left and red ends up being right. That's pretty common. And then they go over your ear. So the way that I do it is I put it over my ear and then slide it in. And you can see in this close up how it fits and it really does cover a lot of your ear surface. And then same with this one, and obviously it can rotate, so they're both in, they're both very comfortable. And now I can just plug it into whatever I want to use, and I'm ready to go with my Google Pixel, and I can listen to, and I have listened to, Spotify, and Sirius XM, and Tidal, and YouTube, and it's just, it's really nice. Let me... <laughs> take these off so I can actually talk to you. I will tell you it's a very clean, precise sound and there's a surprisingly good sound stage. 
it is oriented more to the highs and the mid-range. So even with the right ear tips and even when you fiddle and adjust with it, I felt like it was a little lacking in bass. If you're someone who likes a lot of bass, if you want your industrial, your techno, and you want to have that drop be something where it's like, oh man, I can feel that in the bones of my skull, these are not for you. <laughs> but if you want to listen to music with a nice flat reproduction and just be able to use their EQ on your source device to get better sound, but it's never going to really blow you away with the bass. Having said that, I was listening to some Tito Puente, just classic Latin jazz, and it uh, sounded really good. And because it's so detailed in the sound reproduction, I could really pick out and listen to specific instruments and how they were contributing to the whole music. Very, very nice. So, not much else to tell you about them. I think that um, one thing I found was that it's tricky to get this to connect to the actual in-ear monitor. In the box, they actually have some instructions about lining things up, but it's super subtle. And you will find that you're probably just pushing really hard and nothing's happening. It's because you have to line something up. And I think there's a tiny little channel in the connector that orients. And then once you get that, then you're good to go. But until you do that, you possibly will find it, as I did, a little frustrating to try to get this whole thing to be plugged in together and working well. But once you do, totally worth the effort because they really have a nice sound. And that the, at the price, I think that they are a really good audio source, but I think that this, honestly, I would rather them just had like a little pouch or something because this just seems very cheesy for something where they're really trying to do these sort of high-end audiophile music reproduction devices. So. What we do need to talk about is the price. But before we get to the price, I'm gonna ask if you would not mind, go ahead and subscribe to my channel with a click or a tap on that subscribe button and make sure to do the same with the little bell to get notifications when I post new content. And hey, if this is useful, go ahead and give me a like. Really appreciate all of those, really helpful. So, great. This, let me get the other one. This is the BASN Beemaster second generation in-ear monitor. Comes in this gold, let me turn that one so you can see both. It comes in gold or silver, or they have a mixed package where you can get one of each color, which I think is really fun. It is $119.99 minus a $15 coupon currently on Amazon, dropping it down to a remarkable $104.99 for something with this level of audio reproduction. So if you can, if you can handle having it go over your ear, then I guarantee you're going to love the sound. It's really a nice, clean, precise sound that's going to make a whole lot of music sound a whole lot better. So, it's everything I got. I think I'm going to get back to my Tito Puente. So, I'll catch you in my next video.